All right, well, let's go picking. All right, so you strap on a bucket, and what I like to do is you find <clears throat> the tastiest berries, generally inside the bush, okay. and you just <clears throat> take your thumb and fingers, and you just kind of slide them off into your hand like that. And then I just put all the other stuff on the ground. So if I get a berry that's mushy or bird pecked, I just drop it, and then the other ones I just put in. So you just pick like that. Right. And you just put them right in. Now. Yeah, just get right in there. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Now, since you guys own the farm, like what kind of fun things have you guys made, you know, for like family tradition with all the blueberries? Uh, well, my mom used to always make blueberry desserts, so nowadays we don't want any blueberry desserts. <laughs> the only way we want them is fresh off the bush. Like, if, okay. if they're in my bucket, they're already old to me. Yeah. I just eat them straight from the bush. Oh, really? But she, my mom used to make like a blueberry coffee cake, blueberry oh. pies. You can make smoothies. I put them yeah. in my salad. Like, I'll make a spinach oh. salad with strawberries and blueberries and then a lemon poppy seed vinaigrette dressing. That's really good. That sounds good. Um, You're teaching me something yes, new. Yes, exactly. My friend brought in a blueberry salsa that you eat with chips. And oh. I thought, ew, no. Yeah. But it was awesome. Really? So, yeah. There are tons of recipes now because blueberries are a superfood. Oh, and everybody sure. wants to get all the good nutrients from those. So a lot of vitamins, minerals, flavonoids, good for your brain. Um, it's good for anti-inflammation. Help fighting against help cancer. Help fighting against cancer, preventing it possibly. Yeah. So. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is so cool. All right. And okay, so you say taste it right off the bush. Taste it right off the bush. All That's right. the best way. And you say you don't remember what this one is. No. It's a little <laughs> bit of a tartar one, so I like these because they have a zing to them. It's still good. It's a little mm -hmm. tart, but it's yeah. good. And then some of the other varieties are sweeter, so it all depends on what you're gonna do. So if you're baking pies and things like that, you probably want a tartar berry. Okay. That you don't have to add the lemon to it. And if you're doing muffins, you probably want the smaller, sweeter berries. So it just depends on what you're gonna do. Yeah, that makes sense, because I've had something that was like blueberry lemon, and that makes total sense, because yes. they work together. Yes, Mmm. Oh, awesome. Now, how many people really come out here every year? Uh, we estimate probably about 12,000 people just in our two months that we're open. We're open really about six weeks, so wow. yeah, and a lot of repeat customers. Yeah, and how much work goes into doing all of this a just lot. to be open for six weeks? A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Oh my gosh. Yeah, behind the scenes there's always things going on, so. Yeah. But my sister, she kind of manages that part of it, and I do more of the retail and the berry part of it, the so. The fun stuff, right? The fun stuff, exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh, well tell the people how they can come visit you all. You just drive on out. We're open seven days a week, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. We're at 3541 South Cleaner Road, Saginaw, 48609. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. We appreciate it. <laughs>